He gets his second and final lap of qualifying on the clock, 17.068. Good mark to beat. Again, it's a cool, cooler than maybe anticipated, 70 degrees. Adam's wearing his jacket. I've got my short sleeves on because I, I want to enjoy all this sunshine in the, in the floor to stay while I can before heading back home. Kind of an early start to today with qualifying at noon. They didn't have any practice today. All three practice sessions took place yesterday. We saw the damage that took place to the 78 car of Joe Lawrence. Amazing that they were able to repair it. I thought for sure when we saw the damage and how the front end was pushed around to the right gym yesterday that we would not see this 78 of Lawrence back out. But they made that long trip from Canada, got the car back ready to go, and good to see this car on track today for hopefully 200 laps later this afternoon. And they were at New Smyrna Speedway but did not qualify in the race. They were in the last chance race and did not transfer through so this is a big deal to start his full-time season here today and the remaining nine events of the ASA Stars National Tour here at Five Flag Speedway. Lap number one for Joe Lawrence 17-389. Again he's really feeling the bugs out of this one. That car was a mess yesterday. Great job by that team to get it running. And he's rolling it down and rolling it down here and turns three and four. Now back on the gas. Joe Lawrence the 29 year old from London Ontario Canada. Idles through. First lap better, 17, 389. No, kind of a one and done there for Joe Lawrence. He's just happy to be able to log a lap, maybe go to the pits, and it, even though it's an impound race, maybe a chance if they need to, to make maybe further repairs to get that car ready to go for race conditions here in just a couple of hours. Quincy Washington driver Casey Klein, this beautiful number one car coming all the way from the other side of the country. I think we'll see this car over on the east side of the country quite a bit in 2024. It's amazing to know this young driver and their ability to race the Chili Willie at Tucson Motor Speedway. And they've also raced uh, last weekend at uh, the Rattler. So it's good to see that they made the effort here saying, you know, we want to race against some really good teams and the ASA Stars National Tour is certainly an appeal for this 16-year-old driver in the car number one, Casey Klein. Goes to the top of the board with a 17.061. We should see times get quicker during the course of this qualifying session. Somebody early on might surprise us a little bit. And conditions right now cooler than maybe the drivers that qualify toward the end of the qualifying session today as Klein comes by for a second time and goes a little bit better. 17.004, nearly into that 16-second bracket. Next up is Jace Hansen. You talk about a driver that's come a long way. The Colorado driver has been racing here at Five Flag Speedway in the Blizzard Series and in the Snowball Derby. He is back in action here at Five Flag Speedway. And the qualifying order, to compound what Adam was just saying, has been determined by combined practice speeds, practices two and three yesterday. The fastest cars in that practice session combined total will be our final few cars to qualify. Based upon the qualifying order, the fastest cars go later. Five fastest cars yesterday. Dawson Sutton, Connor O'Kresic, Austin Nason, Cole Butcher, and Steven Nassi. They will be the final drivers to go out in this afternoon's run. First time by for Jace Hansen. As Jace Hansen in the 08, a driver that we've seen come from Colorado for a few years competing in some of the Southern Super Series and Blizzard Series races here in addition to the Snowball Derby where he is qualified in. And Jace Hansen does go to the top of the board with a 16.893. Quick time of the first four drivers on track so far. Yesterday, Jim, we look at the times and compare them to yesterday where we had a little more cloud cover than today. Today, very sunny, very bright, going to warm up pretty nicely here this afternoon. Dawson Sutton's quickest time yesterday overall was a 16.578. So just about 25 drivers of the 30 were in the 16 second bracket at some point yesterday. Uh, so far, Jace Hansen, the first of those today to get into that 16 second bracket. We talked about the fastest yesterday race, the Crown Vicks, and he also raced to a podium finish last night in the Arkham and Arnold Series East race. A lot of fun yesterday. He was able to cross the line first in the Crown Vic race, had a great battle with Oki Mason and a couple of the local drivers here from the Five Flag Speedway Crown Stock Division, and Bubba Pollard goes 16 7 6 one, and that's about a tenth and a half quicker than Jace Hansen. Now, Bubba talking to him in the pits earlier today, he said, you know, my car's good practice speeds. I was on track with both cars yesterday. They were both basically the same. They were down the chart a little bit, but he thinks uh, qualifying was going to be an issue, but he says it will race well. Rap two for certain was a little slower. He was really loose off of turn number four there. It's three tenths better than his practice speeds yesterday. So Bubba's picked it up. He's got those brand new Hoosier tires on and he's going forward. His best lap, 16.816, excuse me, 16.761. His second lap was slower, 16.761 is now the time to beat for Pollard, top of the pylon after the first handful of cars 
to qualify. Billy Van Meter on track out of Indianapolis in the 23 car. Billy, one of the regulars with the CRA Super Series, the Southern Super Series, and the ASA Stars National Tour. Races a lot of super late model events in 2023, looking to do the same again this season. And Van Meter finished 14th in this race a year ago, which was the opener for the ASA Stars National Tour. And that was in a backup car. He had issues in practice himself and had to go back to really a, a lot of thrashing to get that car ready day, day one to day two and got it up to 14th at the finish in the backup car from Van Dorn Racing Thrash on that with Billy Van Meter in the number 23. He's third right now after lap number one, third out of the six drivers that have been on track so far. Second time for Van Meter brings it across the line and he stays in the number three position. So uh, first lap's looking pretty good for the competitor so far during the qualifying session. Next up, the 17-year-old driver, Caden Quapple, younger brother of Carson Quapple. They both won cars series championships a year ago. This is the Cars Pro, uh, Pro Late Model stock champion from a year ago. Caden Quapple in the number 32 for Archie St. Hilaire. This is Caden Quapple's, I believe, let me check it. Yep, third ASA Stars National Tour race last year. He raced at North Wilkesboro, finished sixth there in the family car, put the 32 on the door at Hickory and finished fifth there against the best of the best. This kid's got some talent. Looking for a little more speed after practice yesterday as Quapple comes across the line, and he's fourth out of seven so far. I'd like to go a little better. Caden Quapple off of turn number two, the North Carolina driver. Car looks solid. Nice looking ride. Looks like a fast race car, Jim. That should help for something. And they had issues at New Smyrna with a borrowed engine. Did not do so well. Did not qualify for the race. Didn't make it through the last chance. Here he is. He's going to be in the show. Caden Quapple up the third. 16 894. 16 894. Let's go to Pit Road with Charlie Crawl. Bubba, I can tell by the look on your face you're not thrilled with that qualifying lap, but I know you're a little more excited about that qual that uh, race setup coming up here in a little bit. Yeah, we hadn't really qualified great all year, so as long as we can put ourselves close to the front um, and kind of just play it out, see how the race plays out, uh, we'll be fine. So as long as we meet in that top 10, 15, we'll be fine. So uh, I feel like we got a good race car, and as long as we make the right adjustments, um, you know, during the breaks there, um, that uh, can put herself in position to win, we'll be fine. Well, but Pollard, always a contender here at Five Flags Speedway, may have to pass a few race cars to get up to the front today. Pretty humble with his, we did okay this year so far. He's won everything in a super late in the Southeast, starting in 2024 with the new Smyrna Speedway, winning the inaugural race of the ASA Stars National Tour race. Don't forget year. Speed Fest. <laughs> That's right. That's He's right. Won three big races. Why do I keep already? saying it's Speed Fest was the CRA yes. section points race and Southern Super Series? He's on fire. And he's yeah. still at the top of the board. John Bolin in the two, fourth quick out of the eight so far as we bring on our next qualifier to the track. And it's the 33 of Albert Francis. Bolin, the number two, was the track champ here last year in the Pro Late model. So John's got a lot of laps recently, as well as some snowball derby starts. Next up, Albert Francis in one of the two black number 33s. This is the red trim and the camo on the side for Rack Hunter camo. For Albert Francis, the family team out of Painesville, Ohio. That number 33 team last year, man, they come to every race prepared. Albert Francis finished seventh in points last year. His best run, Madison, Wisconsin, finishing seventh in the Joe Shear Classic last May. Albert last year had a lot of good runs and just wasn't able to complete them. Had some bad luck creep up. Right now, pretty fast in qualifying. Second quick on the board, lap number one for Albert Francis. He is about a tenth off of the pole speed so far, set by Bubba Pollard. Can he pick it up a little more? Great line off a of turn forward. That little bit of a slide. That's how you get around here. You don't want to be too close to the wall, but you got right to it. That start finish. Goes quicker, not quick enough. Pollard still fastest. His lap is 16.761. Francis 16.838. Francis second quick. We qualified now nine. Here's our 10th driver on track. And Matt Craig has been synonymous with speed. He's won three championships in the Cars Pro, a Super Late Model Series. He's won the All-American 400. He's really good here at Five Flags Speedway. So to see him this far, this early in qualifying, that team struggled yesterday a bit in qualifying the CNC Boiler number 54 Chevrolet. Talked to Matt earlier today, and he felt that the car was decent. I was a little unsure. It's not the same car that he ran at the Snowball Derby this past December. It's a different car, not a brand new car. Brought a different piece here. The ASA Stars National Tour event number two, and it's good enough to go fast time so far. New driver, top of the board. Matt Craig in the 54, 16, 7, 36. Pollard dropped to second. Francis now third. To the checkers comes Matt Craig. And he lowered the time to beat. 
Indeed he does. 16, 6, 2, 7 now. We're getting really good speeds out of the cars now. Qualifying. A driver who's already qualified is standing by with Charlie Crawl. out of that number 32 keenparts.com hot rod how's your race car uh, right now where's a little snug we kind of struggled with the balance this weekend but uh we're better in race trim it feels like all week so uh, when we put tires on yesterday we were a little tight too so uh, i'm hoping the race is better than we qualified and we we're just a little too tight there Papa family always strong in late model competition whether it's up in the midwest down here in the southeast or down here in florida look for caden quapple to be strong once we go racing this afternoon and do not mess with the Quapple brothers when it comes to outlaw dirt racing on micro sprints, man. They are really good. They made a name for themselves racing and winning championships on that discipline together before moving on to really good stuff in late models. New driver behind the wheel, the number 21, it's Michael Goddard. And Michael Goddard, a Floridian, has had some pretty good success in the past. Now driving this number 20 ride, uh, one ride, and right now in qualifying, he goes up to... Second quick. Good run for Michael Goddard in the 21. So we've seen Jeff Triquette drive for that team at New Smyrna. Last year we saw a couple of different drivers race that car. The number 21, Larry Blount racing with Jet Motorsports. Saw Travis Braden run it. Yep. The top five of the Derby. Mm -hmm. This team has Michael right behind where he wants to be. And Michael impressed us at New Smyrna Speedway as well on a different car. So get the chance here. It's like an earned process. That's a really good ride he's in today. Here's a driver that is expected to be pretty quick this weekend, not only because he's a talented driver, but he's working with a, a talented driver slash guy that can work on a race car. And Derek Thorne. <laughs> this is Jacob Gomes in the number 16. Jacob Gomes, a three-time Southwest Tour champion. Coming here all the way from Antica, California, with a full complement of crew members. There's a two-car team led by Derek Thorne. Derek was our go-fast quick qualifier one year ago for this event. He's here advising and overseeing this effort with Jacob Gomes and Mike David, the former Argo West Series champion. Jacob Gomes, fourth quick so far. Out of the 12 drivers on track, Gomes, the Californian, backs it down. Going to have to probably race from pretty deep in the field, at least mid-pack. In today's Sunshine State 200, all can be seen later today, 3 o'clock race time, central time, with a pre-race at 2.30 or so on Track TV, on TrackTV.com. Go over and get your subscription to watch all of today's live action from Five Flag Speedway. The fan club called Canadians are cheering on this driver, the APC Late Model Series champion, Kyle Steckley, in the number 30 for Mark Rett and Rett Jones Racing. He was the star of the show at New Smyrna Speedway when it comes to cars that he passed the most of. Came through the last chance qualifier to finish a really strong run at New Smyrna Speedway to start his first season, full season, at the ASA Stars National Tour. Steckley into the top five on lap number one for the Canadian Kyle Steckley in the top ten right now in ASA Stars National Tour points after his effort at the Clyde Hart Memorial at New Smyrna. Today in Spence's checkered flag and second time by the line. He moves up one more spot, fourth quick for Kyle Steckley, 16-7-8-2. Time to beat. The go-fast pole right now is Matt Craig in the 54 with a 16.627. Next up is the driver who won last night in the number 22. It's Gio Ruggiero. He finished third in the ASA Stars National Tour points a year ago, but a big win last night in the ARCA Menard Series East, the series he's going to be full-time competing in, along with a return to race for a championship here in the Stars National Tour in 2024. First win for somebody and another team other than a... Gibbs Racing Team over the last few years. Sammy Smith won a couple. Williams Wallach won last year in that ARCA race, and last night he broke that streak. Did Gio Ruggiero. I talked to Gio before he got on the track yesterday. He said, you know what? Racing two different kind of cars. They have to race completely differently. My mindset is i got to win Saturday night and then focus on Sunday. I'm going to take some notes from Saturday's practice, but his focus Sunday today today alone is on this super late model for Donnie Wilson Racing. 16, 6, 8, 9, lap one for Gio. Good enough for second quick. Can he do it on lap number two? Crosses the stripe a little bit slower on lap two. Used it up on lap one. Did Gio Ruggiero second quick, though? just off of the fast time by Matt Craig. Let's go down with Charlie, the driver who is the fastest right now. Matt Craig just climbed out of that beautiful number 54 car. Led a lot of laps here le last year. I know you guys are playing for speed right now, but looking pretty good so far here qualifying. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised. You know, yesterday we never did a qualifying run. We just practiced on long run stuff just to get better, but um, yeah, I'm pretty surprised. I'm not sure. It's, I don't think it'll hold up the whole, through the whole field, but uh, it's Firing some bullets at Matt Craig right now, but still standing tall, P1. Here are the early moments in go fast pole qualifying. 
Go Fast Racing has that number 32 car fielding here. Archie St. Hilaire has put up the $1,000 bonus for pole qualifying last year and this year. One of the great sponsors coming on board this year to support these teams and give out hard, hard good cash. A thousand bucks to win the pole each and every ASA Stars National Tour race with Go Fast Racing. And uh, Tom Keene is involved with that as well with Car CorvetteParts.net. Great to see their efforts here supporting these racers. Jake Finch, Lynn Haven, Florida driver on track. What a weekend he had a, a week ago. Second in the Rattler. Won the Pro Late Model race that weekend at South Alabama Speedway. Qualified seventh right now out of the first 15 drivers on track. At Jake Finch, kind of a, a rough start to the season. Was so good at Daytona in the ARCA race. Had the crash that took him out of contention late in the going there. A new Smyrna. Had an incident that took him out of contention, but uh, a good last week and looking to carry that momentum here at Five Flags Speedway. Now on track, the number 13, Sean Hingarani. Hingarani, the 17-year-old out of California, racing the other team car with Derek Thorne racing. Hingarani's been quite the master, the ARCA Menard Series West champion of a year ago. He raced all but one of the ARCA Menard Series East races last year, crossing the continent, as well as running nine ARCA Menard Series races in total. A lot of race time in that level. Great to see him back in his super late model here. He's done some of that on the West Coast, and he's here tonight trying to race his way to the Sunshine State 200 trophy. Right around mid-pack, eighth out of 16 on lap one. Can he pick it up on lap two? Crosses the stripe. Pingarani, second time, leaves him in the eighth spot. A little bit slower on lap number two for the 13. Gets a little tight down there in turn number two is Casey Roderick, who we have watched at Speed Fest. We have watched at New Smyrna, and now he's doing it here at Five Flags Speedway, taking extra time to work in those tires to get him ready to go qualifying. Now he starts to pick up the pace as we watch Hangarani make his way to pit road. I think he just wants to talk about us more. Talk about him because it yes. takes him so long in that outlap. It does. That was probably the quickest one that we've <laughs> seen so far this year. Speed Fest was unbelievably slow, and so was New Smyrna. But he's up to speed now. Casey Roderick tied for the points lead in the ASA Stars National Tour, winning this event to open up the ASA Stars National Tour a year ago, and he's underway at the green. All this action coming away only on TrackTV.com. Racing coverage starts at 2.30 p.m. this afternoon. Casey Roderick, the defending Sunshine State 200 winner, on track now in the Anthony Campy Racing, number 26, Platinum Express on the quarter panel. A lot of local sponsors as well. Coming on board for Casey Roderick and his run. White flag out for Casey Roderick. Third. One more lap around, 16-7-1-2. Good enough for third quick on lap one. Makes his way through three and four. Does he have enough to go to the top? I say he does. As he comes off of turn number four, comes to the line, checkered waves, and second quick. Just missed it by four one-hundredths of a second. Casey Roderick has Matthew Craig on top of the board. Roderick second, Ruggiero, Goddard, and Pollard rounding out the top five. Let's dip down to Charlie once more on pit road. Gio Ruggiero watching these guys. Uh, some tight competition out there on the racetrack. You got to watch every one of these race cars. Speaking of race cars, how was your race car out there? Yeah, you know, I think we're really good. Uh, just needed to clear my head from last night, you know, running the, those laps in the Arca race and, uh, you know, get my mind reset and, and back into super late model mode. But I think our car is really good. You know, usually uh, in these most motor sports cars, we're not always super fast in qualifying, but we're pretty good in the race. So, Casey Roderick just qualified, and, and we're pretty close to him, so uh, he's always really good in qualifying, so I think we should uh, end up pretty good here. Gio Ruggiero went to victory lane here last night, looking to make it two in a row here at Five Flags Speedway. Looking to make it two go-fast pole awards in a row is our next car on track, Connor Jones out of Fredericksburg, Virginia, the number 44. Fast qualifier in New Smyrna to kick off the season. Not going to do it here today. He got up to 10th on lap one. That's where he's going to remain. 16, 8, 2, 1 for Connor Jones, a full-timer. The ASA Stars National Tour in 2024. Next up, Timothy Watson, one of the locals. Outlaw, champion at Five Flag Speedway one season ago with several wins. And he's pretty good behind the wheel of a super late model and limited starts as well. Had a good run again at Speed Fest this year. Looked good at New Smyrna. Comes in 16th in points in the ASA Stars National Tour. Going to run a lot of the Southern Super Series races, the Blizzard Series races. Timothy Watson on track. Down into turn number three, a track that the Outlaw Late Models are really cool. If you ever get a chance to come here for a weekly show or catch it on tracktv.com when the Southern Super Series is racing here and he's in an Outlaw Late Model, he gets after it. I'm telling you, he doesn't care where the competition is. He's going to find a way around them. And I see him race high, I've seen him race low, dip in the corner three lengths deeper. He's fun to watch. Watson on his way to the checkered flag was 15th after lap number one. Lap number two just moves up one spot. 
Not the qualifying effort that Timothy Watson wanted. He is 14th, and so far we've had 19 on track. Leaves us with another 10 qualifiers or so to go. Go fast pole qualifying for event number two of the season. Now this Southern Super Series hot dog, Dustin Smith on track, trying to make his fourth. He will make his fourth start in the SA Stars National Tour as there will not be a last chance qualifier. All cars will get in. He comes off the high of a sixth place finish at the All-American 400 for his next race in the SA Stars National Tour. It comes today at Five Flag Speedway for Dustin Smith. 26-year-old out of Mobile, Alabama, 80 miles from home, at a home track for Dustin. In the other 33 with a blue trim. He's run a lot of pro late model races here. And the Allen Turner Hyundai Pro Late Model Division at Five Flags Speedway has competed in several derbies and flakes. And first time by for Dustin Smith, his 12th quick, has another lap coming to him. Dustin Smith trying to pick it up a little more. It was pretty impressive yesterday among the top 10 in practice. Can he go there for qualifying? Second time by the line, Dustin Smith still outside of the top 10, 12th, went slower on lap two. Let's go back down with Charlie. Standing by with defending race winner Casey Roderick and that number 26 car looked pretty stout there on those two qualifying laps. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, we Just a little snug roll in center. Uh, carrying the momentum through the corner. I had to, had to wait on it just a little bit, but I had a really good forward drive and uh, something uh, we, we worked on yesterday. I was lacking a little bit, so um, way way the car sits right now, I think it's going to be good on the long run. So I was a little unsure yesterday, but what I felt today, I, I like it. So uh, we'll see what happens when the race starts. Casey Roderick won this race last year in dramatic fashion, looking to back it up with a second consecutive win here at Five Flags Speedway tonight. Yeah, came out a close race with Bubba Power last year. Bubba spun on the front stretch. Casey went on to win the race. Bubba, car, Bubba was involved with a seven-car crash that ensued from that contact. So, yeah, there was a lot to be done and said and talked about from one year ago here at New Smyrna Speedway. Well, uh, New Smyrna. I, say New Smyrna. Why was I did it last. I, did, I called Five Flags. New Smyrna, you haven't gone to New sleep Smyrna since Flags. then. Yeah, you're right. So it's still like the same day. I am pretty excited to see these cars and these speeds and this flame job on the 69 to Michael Hine. That thing's fast sitting still. Tenth quick for Michael Hind in the 69. Former winner of the Speedfest Pro Late Model event. Michael Hind has turned a lot of laps here at Five Flags Speedway as well as he's scooted by after his cool down lap. The number 50 of Jet Nolan. Eventful day yesterday for Jet Nolan. Yeah, Jet ended up in the infield grass. He brought out one of the very few cautions during practice sessions. The rear end looked all kind of knocked out of shape. Might have lost the panard bar or something in the alignment. And uh, he had gotten towed back to the pits. It was late in the session, session three. Good to see this young driver who was really fast. Almost won the race at New Smyrna Speedway to kick off the season. Got right in contention. And then things kind of evened out. And then Bubba Power just kind of stepped away from Jet Lowell in this number 50. who came up second in the ASA opener here in February. Had the two break on him in the rear end yesterday. Fortunately, not terrible damage to the race car. Jet Nolan crossing the line. Pretty good first lap. Sixth quick for Jet Nolan. He is the now 22nd driver to go. Does he have a little more speed left? He was among the top five for a while yesterday in practice, and he's been fast everywhere he's raced so far. Jet Nolan, second time by the line. Nolan. It was a 16.845 on his second lap. Jet Nolan going to stay in the number six spot. That Groveland, Florida driver sponsored by Cohen Law Group, Nolan's Roofing, Specialty Concrete Services, and Derek Thorne Racing helping out Jet Nolan's efforts here today. Next on track, the number 24 of the NASCAR Truck Series veteran, Colby Howard. Colby Howard in the Donnie Wilson Racing number 24, 22 years of age out of Simpsonville, South Carolina, third generation racer, making his ASA Stars National Tour debut. Donnie Wilson racing, and you know that these cars are fast everywhere they go, and he was pretty good in practice yesterday, putting himself late in this qualifying run, just outside of the top five. When it came to the combined practice speeds of the second and third session, Colby Howard, who we haven't seen race much in super late model action, into the top ten on lap one. Tenth quick, 16-8-0-1. This team finished fourth with Brent Cruz behind the wheel at the first ASA Stars National Tour race, and the big points pay out on owner's points. So this team's coming in with a lot of momentum, some great Drivers lined up already for the 24 in this season. William Byron drove this car last year, had some success as well. So good to see Colby Howard getting the idea. Hey, Toyota, I want to work with you. Where can I race? And they paired him up here with Donnie Wilson. Tenth quick goes slower on lap number two. Likely will fall outside of the top ten. Some of the fastest cars from yesterday getting ready to go, including this one. The number 14 of Michael Atwell, the Davidson Electric Mike Garvey Racing Chevrolet, hooking up with this team. And he was pretty strong on track in yesterday's practice sessions. He and Conor Okrezik teamed together. Mike Garvey's been a long time 
supporter of Kyle Krasnick. I've been working with Atwell a lot. Matter of fact, he finished 11th at Speedfest this year. And he's been five, uh, sorry, five flag speedway. He's got three races out of six tries in the Snowball Derby. So this number 14, the third black number 14 we're going to see on track, features the 24-year-old out of Naples, California. First time by for Atwell, 15th quick. He wants more speed, wants to prove that that car was fast not only yesterday, but in qualifying trim, 16, 8, 4, 7 for Atwell. Matt Craig still the fastest, 16.627 seconds. Second time by for Atwell. He's going to stay in the number 15 spot. A lot of these drivers actually slowing down on lap number two. It's been a good mix of fastest on lap one, fastest on lap two. Down to the final five qualifiers. We're giving you a live look in here to see qualifying, but we are going to ask you to jot this down. Go online right now to tracktv.com, tracktv.com, subscribe. You get a 30-day subscription, 12 events in the next 30 days, including today's Sunshine State 200 on the docket. It's going to be worth it. These guys are fast. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch, including this driver. The number 51, Stephen Nassi, on track for Anthony Campy Racing. Stephen Nassi, not normally known for being great in practice or qualifying, but races extremely well. Well, he was fast in practice. Will he be fast in qualifying with his 51 ride across the line? He's ninth quick on lap number one. That's a pretty solid qualifying lap for Stephen Nassi. Interesting. We thought maybe as the as the session went on, that general tire rubber from last night's AS, uh, ARCA Series race would be a factor. In reality, we've had really fast times throughout the session. Craig went out about 10th of the cars to qualify, and he still is on top of the board. Nassi up to fifth. 16.755. 16.755 for Stephen Nassi. Let's go back down to Charlie. Jet Nolan has really clicked here the last uh, six months or so. Jet, what happened yesterday in practice, and how's your race car today? Uh, we had a few rear end problems yesterday. Ended up breaking one. But, uh, you know, the car's a little bit tight getting into one and two, but we're going to get those issues worked out. Missing that third practice yesterday kind of hurt us a little bit, but uh, we'll get things figured out for the race, and we'll be up there in the top contending. Hopefully, you know, I can't thank my sponsors, Cohen Law Group, Nolan's Roofing, uh, my whole team. Uh, it isn't easy to get these cars ready as fast as we do and come out here and compete at the level we do. Jet Nolan looking for a good solid top five run, maybe even a win here later on this afternoon. No doubt the speedy showed at New Smyrna Speedway against the best of the best. He's certainly one of the contenders here today on a short list, including the next driver on the racetrack, the Atlantic Tilt, old number 28 of Cole Butcher. Butcher into the top 10 on lap number one. He said it's been kind of a tough start to the season. Just isn't used to this tire yet. He said it's taking me a while. He said the other tire would always come to him because everybody else would start to slow down and he would stay a little bit better toward the end of the race. This one, he says you have to race harder from the beginning. He's into the top 10. He's ninth quick, goes a little quicker on lap two, 16, 7, 8, 2 for the point runner up of the series a year ago. Great way to remind you that Bob Sargent went to work. The teams were asking about the tires and being durable and stable and still have some fallout. He went to work with Hoosier Tire and Irish Saunders last year to develop this ST1 on the left, ST2 on the right. The new Hoosier Tire for 2024 will be on every race. Uh, the ST1's in, on the left, two's on the right, except for when we go to Milwaukee and for the Winchester to one of the compound on the right-hand side. So there is some learning to do there from the uh, improvements that Hoosiers made to their tire for this season on the short tracks. This group of Number 14 of Austin Nason was sharp yesterday, not only in how this car looks, but how it was handling around Five Flag Speedway, and he was in the top five. He was third quick in those second and third practice sessions. What does he have in qualifying? Austin Nason across the line, the driver from Roscoe, Illinois, into the top five on lap one, 16, 7, 4, 2. Matt Craig's been at the top of the board for a while to 16, 6, 2, 7. This driver, Austin Nason, needs about a tenth. And he had really good speed every session out yesterday. Didn't spend every lap on the racetrack. He and his crew chief, Brian Johnson Jr., were clicking yesterday on the speed chart. They'll remain fifth here in lap number two, a bit slower. Best time, 16.742 for Austin Nason out of Roscoe, Illinois. He said, I really love these four barrels. I want to have that control in my hands. We want to have that horsepower that the Cup guys are begging for. I like four barrel racing. I'll go anywhere we can with the ASA Stars and a lot of other races uh, under the ASA branding. Down to the final two qualifiers. The 14s were all fast yesterday. None of them are team cars with one another, really. But Connor Okrezik hit in this 14 from Grand Bay, Alabama, the Metro Glass Paragon Cleaners car. Second quick yesterday. Former champion at this racetrack. A lot of laps turned. Still a young driver. Doesn't get a chance to race as much as he used to. But Connor Okrezik looking to take every bit of advantage that he can racing this 200 today. At age 17, he finished fourth in the Snowball Derby. His best of five finishes in that 300-lap grind. 
To the white comes Oak Prezik under Mike Garvey's direction. Fourth quick. Good first lap for Connor Okrezik in the 14. Can he pick it up a little more? Matt Craig, Casey Roderick, Gio Ruggiero. No surprises really there in the top three fast race cars. Okrezik wants to get up there and fight for the go fast pull across the line. Stays in position number four. One more time with Charlie. Standing by with Steven Nassi. How's your race car out there today so far? I think we're pretty good. I mean, I think everybody knows qualifying ain't my strong suit. I, uh, I, think, I think we might have had to stagger open up a little bit, honest there, but I think we got a really good race car. Just got to go out there and see what this thing can do. The classy one looking to park that 51 car in victory lane later on this afternoon. Next up, the driver was fast, really fast yesterday, Dawson Sutton, the 18-year-old out of Tennessee, racing with Willie Allen and the Rackley World Racing Team. Last car to qualify on track right now. Sutton so good, fastest yesterday in two of the practice sessions. Ends up as fastest in the overall speed chart. Can he do it again today? Young driver, a teenager from Tennessee and National Fairground Speedway. Across the line, ninth quick on lap number one. Does it have more left in it? Needs a tenth and a half, Jim. That's a lot to make up here. The wind is blowing down the backstretch to his tail. He'll face the headwind coming up the banking and up the rise off of turn number four to the checkers. Second time for Sutton. Picks it up a little bit just outside of the top five. Six quick for Dawson Sutton. Great job by the entire crew. We got him lined up. We got him knocked down. Qualifying has concluded. Congratulations to Matt Craig. Matt Craig has set the goal fast pole award time of 16.627 seconds. He will lead us to the green flag this afternoon after our coverage begins on tracktv.com at 2.30 Central Time. Subscription coverage, Jim. You want to watch this race this yep. afternoon? Pre-race coverage begins at 2.30 Central Time. The race just after 3 o'clock Central Time. It's $29.99 for one month, but it gets you 10 races within that month's period of time. Nine series. We've got CRA, Southern Super Series, Midwest Tour, ASA Stars National Tour, CRA Late Model Sportsman, CRA Street Stocks, Jake CRA All-Stars Tour, Blizzard Series, throwing, and Nashville Fairground Speedway. I was just going to say, throwing some really good weekly race on the quarter mile on the big half at Nashville Fairground Speedway. That's all coming your way. And again, the subscription is $29.99 a month, and that's it. There's no other pay-per-views. There's no other upcharges. You just pay that and get a whole bunch of racing, and you get all the archive access to all the races that were last year, the last three years of Midwest Tour, a bunch of other series that... Uh, Big 8 Series? Yep, coming up, and uh, you'll see a lot of the Midwest guys racing those Pro Late models as well as the Supers, uh, and you can watch it anytime you want. You can actually watch tonight's race over and over and over. Or if your buddies are working tonight, hey, sign up, watch it with them when they get a chance uh, if you're not here at the racetrack to watch it in person. We want some people watching this today, Jim. Yep. I think there's going to see a great race. A field of about 30 cars taking the green flag for the Sunshine State 200 for the ASA Stars National Tour right after 3 o'clock Central Time this afternoon. And Charlie Craig's got the man of the hour who's going to lead us to the green flag around 3 o'clock. Charlie, take it away. Standing by with our Go Fast Racing Pole Award winner, Matt Craig. You know, for a guy who's been searching for speed the last couple of days, you didn't do too bad on that qualifying lap. How's your race car? No, yeah, I mean, I can't believe it, honestly. I'm kind of in shock. <laughs> we never did a mock run in practice, so I guess we really didn't know what we have for qualifying. But, uh, you know, we worked on race runs all through practice, so hopefully we got a good race car. I'm a little bit worried now. It has so much speed, and I think it might be a little bit too uh, free to start the race. But, hey, we'll, we'll find out in a little bit. Are right, you guys led seven? 79 laps here last year. It's not like your race setup is too horrible here at Five Flags Speedway. What's the outlook once we go racing this afternoon? Yeah, I mean, this track, these cars, this track is so hard to pass, so hard to get up front. So you got to stay up front and, um, you know, play the strategy right. And uh, like I said, stay up front is probably the best idea. Matt Craig, our pole winner here today, going to start P1, winning the Gold Fast Pole Award here for the Sunshine 200, kicking off here just a couple hours from now. Adam, I'm still excited. Excited. I'm really excited now that we've seen qualifying and how fast these cars are getting around this racetrack. Yeah, and we're going to have some good drivers coming through the field. You know, Bubba Pollard qualified ninth. He almost has to be happy with that after yesterday's practice. <laughs> that car is so good on long runs. Watch as he makes his way to the front. Steven Nassi, he was happy with eighth fast in qualifying. You know, those two drivers, watch them. Of course, they race side by side quite a bit. Clyde Hart Memorial at New Smyrna Speedway, and they race each other hard. And they're probably going to do the same thing this afternoon as well.
We're going to wrap things up here. Thank you for joining us on the Live Lookin'. I'm Jim Trader along with Adam Mackey and Charlie Crow. Hope you enjoyed our sneak peek coverage. We'll see you at 2.30 Central Time for our subscription-based coverage on TrackTV.com of the Sunshine State 200 this afternoon at Five Flags Speedway.